want to go to a beach somewhere? Drink a spicy margarita. Make some bad decisions. Yes. Hanging from a helicopter, to chasing down people who framed you for murder, and to think it all started with one fall. I'm not the hero, I'm just the double. Now, this movie is near and dear to my heart, not only because it's the second video ever made on YouTube about nine months ago, but it's absolutely a terrible video and I don't want you to watch it. But I've rewatched this movie many times and it's pretty damn good. Uh -huh. We got drugs, bad guys, and murder. What's an ice crime? I really appreciate the care that David Leach, the director, took in making such a well shot movie, including camera techniques and storytelling techniques that really tie everything together. Welcome to Specialist Cinema. I'm Chandler. My goal here is to share videos that I do or don't like with you. Think of me as you will a personal Wikipedia of sorts. If you have a movie you'd like to recommend, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Now, before the big helicopter stunt scene, we have Colt Sievers, who is Hollywood's best stuntman until one stunt went wrong. No phone call, no text. Like I didn't want to apologize. Unfortunately, he broke his back and ultimately walked away from his career and left his girlfriend Jody behind and ended up being a valet, which is probably the most hilarious part of the movie. I really appreciate this movie because I've had moments like this as well, where everything falls apart, and this movie showcases what it really means to go through that, especially for the people that you love. I got injured, I went from 140 pounds to 240. Thankfully, I bounced back with the help of my and a lot of patience but for my wife. Fast forward 18 months, Colt is flipping for valet tips when he gets a call saying that his ex, Jody, wants him back on the movie set. And she's actually directing her first big box office movie, a space opera in Sydney with cowboys. And supposedly wants him back, at least that's what Gail the producer claims. But of course, Jody didn't actually ask for him. This is where the plot thickens. Colt arrives on scene, does his first stunt, and Jody is not thrilled at all that she sees him. But it, love is reconnected pretty fast, and that's where Gail steps in and asks him to try to find Tom Ryder, the real reason why he's there. Tom Ryder, the biggest action star on the planet, is missing. He is the superstar. Think the talent as of like Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, right when the movie Wolverine and Deadpool movie came out. So Colt starts looking for Tom after Gail reveals that he's gone missing. And there's not a whole lot of time to find him because turns out Tom Ryder, the action star, is uh, in some serious trouble with really bad people. Full disclosure, he has fallen in with some shady people. Just checking in on you. And they're not gonna like you sniffing around. This is where it gets the most interesting part of the movie for me. It's in the split screen section where Colt is talking to Jody, And it's a split screen that was actually revolutionary at its time and super unusual. Like a good twist. Who doesn't love a twist? They did it in such a way that adds so much to the movie. The split screen used in this movie is great because it allows us, the audience, to see what different characters are doing at the exact same time, which creates a sense of parallel action. But not only that, by showing the two different scenes side by side, it highlights the differences and or similarities between the characters, events, and locations. Are you saying ice cream or ice cream? Ice cream. Okay, it's just with your accent, it's hard. I'm not reporting an ice cream. Yes, no, I get that. Okay. I know it's weird that out of the whole movie, that one section stood out to me, but it did something right. And what I, again, really appreciate with this movie, it is, isn't about superheroes. It's about regular, hardworking people on movie sets. And all that to say, the action scenes are actually pretty badass. Round. I'm just a stunt guy! Well done, well choreographed. They are, do seem a little more supernatural than realistic, but hey, I'll take it. Throughout all this misadventure, Holt figures out that Gale has actually been the mastermind that's been using deep fake technology to make it look like he killed Tony's last double. Thankfully for Colt, he found the phone with his friend and they saw who actually killed it. Which turned out to be Tom Ryder. And yeah, it actually turns out that the accident in the very beginning of the film was uh, on purpose and it wasn't by accident. It was because Tom thought that Colt was stealing his spotlight. At this point, Colt's on the run and everyone thinks that he's the killer. This is insane, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But let's be real. This guy's got more tricks up his sleeves. He is as nimble as a cat and he's got plot armor. So the people trying to take him down won't stand a chance. He disguises himself as one of those weird talking aliens and meets up with Jody in the trailer. Then she beats the shit out of him and stabs him with a pen in his leg. And then they try to come up with a plan to get Tom Ryder to confess. 
or at least try to trick him to confessing while he's wearing a wired lav mic. Jody tells Tom Ryder that he's going to do a CGI stunt because you'll find out in this movie, he doesn't do any of his own stunts, but he says he does. So Colt jumps into the truck, locks him up and make the stunt real. And this is where they get the confession on Mike while the crew fights off Tom's goon. And dude, Tom Ryder has some of the best security or at least willing security willing to kill people for him. Uh, they must be well-trained army or militia at this point. And now we're full circle. This is where the epic stunt, the helicopter stunt is pulled off. What's nice is Tom had a little bit of character arc at the end where he realizes that Colt was the absolute best stunt, man. After all the craziness and the dust settles, Metal Storm becomes a box office hit as Colt is exonerated and he gets Jody back. I don't know, what do you think? Would you risk it all to clear your name or would you simply just walk away or run to Mexico? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and I'll keep bringing you these fun movies. Catch you in the next one. In fact, I think you're gonna like this one.